Hello everybody, Max right here, host of BitShares TV, sitting with Dan Larimer, uh, lead developer of BitShares. Dan, why don't we talk a little bit now about uh, dynamic account permissions and what you've done there for, you know, especially for use in the corporate world. Account permissions have always been uh, a challenge in the Bitcoin space. You either have private keys, if you lose your key or someone steals it, uh, you can lose your funds very easily. Uh, with dynamic account permissions, we actually design the permissions around users. So you can have funds that are controlled by yourself and your family. And you know maybe you lose your key, but your family, they still have their keys and they can collectively help you gain access to your funds. Or if you're a company and you want to have funds held by the company uh, in control of the management team, you can do so. And the management team themselves, they can make sure that their individual accounts are secured by several different people. And so you can get a hierarchy of users where uh, your account requires yourself and a, a two-factor authenticator to approve an action for your company. Your company can then join uh, a foundation like the Bitcoin Foundation and then vote as a company uh, to control funds. So we've set up the account permissions in a way that makes multi-sig usable. So it actually goes hand in hand with another feature we have, which is the ability to propose a transaction. Any account can propose a transaction on the blockchain, uh, and then the blockchain will gather the permissions it needs from all the other accounts, and then when all the permissions have been gathered, the uh, transaction will go through. So this gives you a lot of extra flexibility, especially when you compare it to the state-of-the-art multi-sig on the other uh, technologies out there. Um, perhaps the easiest way to explain that is multi-sig is so hard to use that most centralized exchanges don't even use it to secure customer deposits. Uh, and then they get hacked. So we're trying to make it so easy to use that everyone has it, and therefore your funds are more secure uh, by default than even uh, the centralized exchanges that are managing millions of dollars of other people's money. I must confess, I mean, I consider myself a Bitcoin power user, and uh, I've never used multi-sig. It was one of those things that was just in the too hard basket. And if I even understand it correctly, you have to propose a transaction, and then off the blockchain, you have to send that transaction to any other relevant parties. They have to sign it, find so You can't broadcast it to the network and let the network manage it, whereas that can be done with the smart chain on BitShares. The, right there in the BitShares client, when uh, you know some other party to a multi-sig transaction proposes a transaction, it will appear waiting for my acceptance right there in my, in my client. I'd like to share another case where it breaks down in the existing system. If you've got a multi-sig account in Bitcoin and you've got three different parties to it, uh, and one party feels that their key has been compromised, either they lost their laptop or they lost their key or something happened, uh, they have to get together with the other parties and have everyone sign to update the permissions. Whereas with the dynamic account permissions, I can have a multi-sig account that my account's a signer on, and I can update my permissions on my own. So if I think my key's been compromised, I can pull out my owner key, update my individual key, and I don't have to contact everyone who I'm partnering with and every business I'm a co-signer on uh, and get them to also update their balances. Uh, it really facilitates users being independent uh, and, not instead, and being flexible instead of being extremely rigid uh, like prior multi-sig solutions. There's also another element in there in that you have weighted permissions, which is, again, very, very useful for that corporate world. Can you go through an example for us? Yeah, weighted permissions is that every single account has a combination of keys and other accounts, and each of those accounts has a weight uh, assigned to it. So you can set it up like uh, if you have a small company, you can give each of the owners of the company permission that's weighted based upon how much of the company they own. And then you can set a threshold. That in order to spend from this account, you have to have... 51% or 75% of shareholder approval in order to authorize spending from the account, which is a lot more flexible than one person, one vote approach of other multi-sig solutions. Right. You can even be like, you know, 
the, the, the CEO has a weight of five, the, you know, the CFO has a weight of five, maybe an accountant and bookkeeper has a weight of two or three, and you, know, you need a weight of you know, nine or 11 or something to authorize a transaction. So very, very useful for that, all those different corporate structures and completely flexible. With the combination of hierarchies and weighted multi-sig, you can implement any arbitrary logic, Boolean logic that you want for um, authorizing transfers.